Menstrual cycle is a complex and dynamic process that occurs in the female reproductive system each month, preparing the body for the possibility of pregnancy. A typical menstrual cycle lasts between 21 and 35 days, with an average being around 28 days. However, this length can vary, and what's considered normal can range from 21 to 38 days, depending on each individual, their ages, and health. The menstrual cycle is broadly divided into four distinct phases. The first phase is the menstrual phase, or menstruation. This phase, typically lasts from three to seven days, is characterized by the shedding of the uterine lining, the endometrium. The old uterine lining breaks down and flushes out of the uterus, and then starts shedding through your vagina. The menstrual phase is initiated by the sharp decline in both estrogen and progesterone levels that results from the degeneration of the corpus luteum at the end of the previous cycle, if pregnancy did not occur. This hormonal withdrawal destabilizes the highly vascularized and thickened endometrium, which further ends with uterine shedding. Local production of prostaglandins increases, triggering strong contractions of the uterine muscle, the myometrium, which manifested as menstrual cramps. The menstrual phase is not separate from the beginning of the follicular phase. The shedding of the old uterine lining occurs simultaneously with the initiation of new follicular growth in the ovary. At the same time, the pituitary gland starts to send follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH, to the ovaries. This hormone stimulates developing from a 5 to 12 follicles in the ovaries. Each follicle contains an immature egg that produces estrogen hormone. This is called the dominant follicle. As this follicle grows, the levels of estrogen in the blood rise significantly. This increase in estrogen begins to inhibit the secretion of FSH. The rising tide of estrogen produced by the growing follicles acts on the basal layer of the endometrium, which remained after menstruation. Estrogen stimulates the regeneration and rapid growth of the functional endometrial layer. This uterine lining thickens from approximately 0.5 mm to 5 mm, with elongation of uterine glands and spiral arteries, creating a nutrient-rich environment for a potential pregnancy. For an average 28-day menstrual cycle, the ovulatory phase usually takes place around day 14. This is the shortest and most dramatic phase of the cycle, lasting only 16 to 32 hours. The released egg remains viable there for fertilization in the ampulla of the fallopian tube for a brief period called, fertile window. Fertile window is a six-day period during your menstrual cycle when you are most likely to get pregnant, including the five days leading up to ovulation and the day of ovulation itself. Sperms can survive within the female reproductive tract for up to five days, so the chances of getting pregnant decrease significantly after this time. The lucky sperm is searching for the egg to fertilize it at the ampulla of the fallopian tube. The sperm genetic material is released into the egg to form a zygote. Once fertilized, it will travel through the fallopian tube to the uterus. The new zygote will find the suitable environment there in the uterus for implantation into the endometrium. At the same time inside the ovary, the remnants of the ruptured follicle undergo a rapid transformation called luteinization. The remaining granulosa and theca cells collapse and accumulate a yellow pigment, forming a temporary endocrine gland known as the corpus luteum. This corpus luteum produces vast quantities of progesterone, along with moderate amounts of estrogen. These high hormone levels exert strong negative feedback on the hypothalamus and pituitary glands 
suppressing FSH and LH to their lowest levels in the cycle, which further prevents the ovary from producing new follicles. Progesterone hormone secreted from the corpus luteum continue thickening the endometrium to become more vascular. This process, known as decidualization, creates a receptive and nourishing environment for a fertilized egg to implant. Progesterone also has a quieting effect on the myometrium, the muscular wall of the uterus. By preventing its contractions it helps to ensure that the newly implanted embryo is not disturbed or dislodged from the mother's womb. Progesterone also thickening the mucus of the cervix, forming a plug that makes it more difficult for sperms and bacteria to pass through. If fertilization and implantation occurred, the developing embryo begins to produce the human chorionic gonadotropin hormone, HCG. This hormone signals the corpus luteum to continue producing progesterone hormone, which is essential for maintaining the uterine lining and supporting the developing embryo and fetus during the first 8 to 10 weeks of gestation. Around the 8th to 12th week of pregnancy, the placenta becomes sufficiently developed to take over as the primary source of progesterone production. Consequently, the corpus luteum's role diminishes, and it gradually degenerates. The corpus luteum has a pre-programmed lifespan of about 10 to 14 days. If fertilization doesn't occur, the corpus luteum starts to degenerate and collapses in a process called luteolysis. The remnants of the corpus luteum are replaced by a small scar of fibrous tissue called the corpus albicans. This degeneration leads to a precipitous fall in progesterone and estrogen levels. This hormonal withdrawal is the trigger for the next menstrual cycle. The volume of menstrual fluid lost typically ranges from 20 to 90 milliliters over the entire period. The flow is usually heaviest in the first couple of days and then gradually tapers off. The first day of menstrual cycle is considered the first day of the follicular phase of the ovarian cycle. While the uterus is shedding its lining, the pituitary gland in the brain begins to release follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH, which prompts the ovaries to start maturing a new set of follicles. One of them will eventually release an egg in the next ovulation. And then, both ovarian and menstrual cycles start over and over again every month. The abdominal cramps during the menstrual cycle, also known as dysmenorrhea, are a common experience for many women. While for some it is a mild monthly inconvenience, for others, the pain can be severe enough to interfere with the daily life. The abdominal cramps during menstruation are sometimes unbelievable. If you like the 3D medical animations, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.